So now we have the, the Rand's equation and the, um, uh, the uh, definition for the energy. So um, let me write down first uh, the Rand's equation one more time before we move on how we can derive the, get the energy equation from that. Okay, I'm going to write out now the, uh, the, the, the Rand's equation. So d u j d t plus u i d u j d x i. So I'm writing out now the, the um, uh, total derivative is equal to nu d s i j d x i. minus d u i u j d x i minus 1 over rho d p d x j. Okay, so we need to multiply that with u j. So if you multiply that with uj, the, the hope is if we have the uj, we pull it somewhere inside here, then we get expressions for uh, uj, uj, with uh, the, the mean energy that, uh, of, uh, of our flow. So and I'm going to do that now term by term, because otherwise it's going to be quite complicated. So it's term 1 here, term 2, term 3, term 4, and term 5. Okay, let's start with term 1. And um, so I would like to have something that, uh, that then, uh, something like uj times duj dt. Um, but to get there, actually what I would like to have is something like this one. d 1 half uj uj dt. Because this one is the this one is the energy of the mean flow. The energy of the mean flow as a derivative of, of time. So let's see how this one works out. If we multiply that out, this one becomes one half u j. So first this term times the derivative of this one, then this time times the derivative of this one. So product rule. The u j d t plus, now the, the other term, you, this is going to look exactly the same, duj dt. So you have twice the same term, times one half, so this one becomes uj d uj dt. This is exactly the term that you want to have for, for term one, where we have this term over here, multiplied with the mean velocity uj. So this term here, if you multiply that, it's just this one, and this one is essentially the, the, the energy as a, the mean flow energy. Sorry. We call that e, e bar, sorry, dt. Okay, let's see for term two. This one this is our nonlinear term. This is always the one that um, gives us most trouble. But you see, it's going to be not not uh, as hard as uh, as, uh, as it uh, used to be. Uh, I want to do the, the same trick here. I want to get something for for the term essentially u i d u j sorry one half uj, uj, dxi. This is actually the term that I would like to have. Let's see how this one works out. This one is going to be uh, 1 half ui, uj, d uj, dxi plus, again, this term here, product rule, first this term, then this term, the 
so ui uj d uj dxi again you see the term is here twice there's a one half so what i'm left with is ui uj d uj dxi and this is essentially the term over here term 2 this term 2 times uj you see you have here term 2 times uj so essentially if i multiply this term over here with uj over here i'm going to get this term this one is essentially uh, ui times d e dxi Okay, term 3 over here. You will see there's not much we can do at the moment, and term 5 as well. So term 3 and 5. We leave as is. For the moment. But I want to have a look at uh, term 4 here. That's going to be... Uh, also quite interesting. Here, term 4. So what do I do with term 4? So, uh, term 4. So, I'm starting here out with uh, uj. Okay, so first I want to have a look how uh, uh, this term is going to look like. Uh, just bear with me for a moment. Um, you're going to see how this works out. So I start out with uh, this term. I want to see how this term looks like here. d dx dy uj ui uj. <clears throat> so this is not exactly the term that we want to have because the uj, I pulled it inside. So it's not exactly the same. But just give me a moment. So if I now multiply that out, this one becomes uj d ui uj dxi plus ui uj d uj dxi. So you see, this is actually the term that we want to have. So the, the or d ui uj times the, the multiply with the mean velocity. So from that follows that if uj d ui uj dxi is then this term over here ui uj d uj dxi minus this term over here that we started with d dxj uj ui uj <clears throat> okay with that uh, we can now write the energy equation so we have now terms for ui uj and then we can so the energy equation becomes <clears throat> so i have my de dt plus ui de dxi that is equal so this term we just leave here uj term 3 we just left uj times 2 nu dsij dxj minus d 
d dxi uj sorry that's not the case ui uj plus ui uj d uj dxi minus ui so this last term we also didn't touch 1 over rho dp dxi j sorry sorry i here in this case we don't have a free index anymore so um, you see that this one is again the total derivative d e dt then i have some additional terms over here the other thing that you see that you don't have a free index anymore so this is only one equation the Rand's equation is essentially three equations uh, for each direction you have um, uh, one because you have a free index the so j here you don't have that anymore so you don't have uh, you have only um, um, uh, one single equation for that because essentially the, the energy you can see something as a scalar is, a, is not um, uh, directional it's not a vector Okay, I'm also going to define now this term over here as minus p. So pay attention to the to the minus over here. While we have a minus over there, we are, you're going to see a bit later. We're just going to define it at the moment like this. 